Welcome to Ed Gallery configuration video, and in this video, we are going to demonstrate the configuration of Ed Gallery version 1.5, with brief introduction about required configurations, of Ed Gallery post installation. Please watch, Ed Gallery version, 1.5 installation video, if you have not, already installed, the Edge Gallery. Once Edge Gallery nodes are installed successfully, to enable the Edge app deployment. Please complete following configurations, 1. Sandbox environment, Edge Gallery by defaults provides the sandbox environment, which helps to test various application, being developed, or integrated, using developer portal. 2. Edge node. Edge Gallery MECM, can be configured with one, or more, Edge nodes, which hosts MEPM and MEP for deploying, and instantiating, the Edge application. 3. External App Store Edge Gallery provides, App Federation feature, which helps to share the, certified application, among different vendors, operators, and, service providers, who collaborate, for a given 5G use case. We will look into Sandbox Environment Configuration first. We knew that Edge Gallery Controller, is already installed on. 192.168.17.14 IP end. Let us use developer portal on the given URL here. Sandbox environment can be configured from developer portal which is running this given URL. Open developer portal. And go to system. Then host management and select add host. With name as sandbox1. Port is already exists in the ENV. LCMIP is Application Lifecycle Management Controller Component. MECM Host IP also same as Edge Cluster IP. Username and Password, RSSH Credentials of Sandbox ENV. Status is normal by default. Architecture is x86. Address is, Edge Node Address. Config file is Kubernetes config file in order to controller to communicate with Edge node. Sandbox is now successfully added. It can be used for app testing. Real Edge nodes could be configured in MECM portal running in given URL. Go to system, select MEPM and select new registration. Basically from, Edge node registration. IP address is fetched from LCM controller IP. This is a production environment. We need to add an MECM same LCM controller is added in MECM for production environment. Open MECM portal, select edge nodes and new registration. Let's provide name as edge 1, and edge node IP. Select geographical location. In drop down box, where edge node has been deployed, Edge node deployed address as, Xi. N. Enter latitude and longitude for coordinates. This is GPS location of edge node. Select architecture as, x86. MEPMIP is configured in app LCM. Let us upload, config file. Present under operation column. Config file is, cube config file, in order to, controller to communicate, with edge nodes. Config file is uploaded. Now, edge node is, successfully registered. Next, let us configure one or more app store, in MECM for syncing the applications. Go to MECM and select systems followed by app store. The click on the new registration for adding the new app store. Here let the name be, App Store. IP is same as the Ed Gallery controller IP and, go along with default port. Now let us configure the application Docker registry details now. Provide App Store repository URL of registry with repository name as Harbor. And username is admin and password is added now.
vendor is one who provides the application, and let us name it as vendor1. Please click on confirm. Now App Store is successfully registered. External App Store Configuration To configure the external App Store for App Federation, use the App Store portal running on given URL. In AppShare, select External App Store Management. And add, External Warehouse. App Store Name will add our partner or vendor name as App Store Name for better identification. Every App Store will be having different versions. It is at Gallery App Store Versions. Company is Partnets or vendors company name. URL is corresponding URL. Up application definition. Let us choose the telecom, as there are multiple formats supported. As we are giving demo, in description, we are entering demo 1. External app store is now successfully added. It can be used for app federation now. Now all required sandbox. Edge configurations are done successfully, and this environment is ready for deploying and managing Edge applications. Thank you for watching this video. It would have helped you for understanding the Edge Gallery configuration process and for any queries please reach us at main.edgallery.org.